Hello viewers and welcome to the deconstruction. Today we will be deconstructing the product review and the purpose of this video is to learn how to weigh the importance of scientific evidence. Let's say, for example, you are interested in a pill for weight loss and you check YouTube to see if there are any product reviews. You stumble upon a review where a fellow YouTuber takes Garcinia Cambogia and reports that they lost 20 pounds, feels fantastic, and reports no side effects. Do you drop everything and go out tomorrow and buy Garcinia Cambogia? In order to understand why you shouldn't, we are going to review the hierarchy of scientific data, which we present to you from weakest to strongest. Near the bottom are your case reports, then animal studies, case control studies, cohort studies, randomized control trials, and finally, your systematic reviews. At the very bottom of this triangle are your personal opinions and reviews. In order to truly appreciate how much of a difference there is in these levels of evidence, we are going to use an example and hopefully make it blatantly clear. Personal review reflects the opinions of one person, and the data is not necessarily obtained or reported. For example, when an individual reports a 20 pound weight loss, there are numerous factors not controlled, such as an increase in exercise, changes in diet, changes in stress levels, other medications or supplements used, an inconsistent dose, and not to mention what about their age or their gender. In a scientific study, these factors are controlled for so that there is less variability and the results are more reliable. Let's compare this to a randomized control trial. In this study, we are not looking at just one person, but rather a whole group of people. The group is divided so that half actually receives the treatment and the other half thinks they are receiving the treatment, but they really get a sugar pill. This is known as a placebo. If the study is designed well, factors such as exercise, diet, stress, and medications are all controlled for so that they are the same among the two groups. If you take it one step further, you have the systematic review in which they look at a whole bunch of randomized control trials. Now you're not just analyzing one group of people, but multiple groups of people, and you're seeing if each individual study gives you a similar result, and then you analyze those results. At the end of the day, you get a better bang for your buck by looking at one systematic review compared to one personal review. So, if I'm interested to see if Garcinia Cambogia will help me lose weight, it would be better to look at a systematic review rather than a personal review. The personal review gives me the results of one person, and those results may be biased, where a systematic review gives me hundreds of results and controls for bias. So while it's nice to hear what people have to say and what their experiences are with a particular product or supplement, if your goal is to determine, will it work for me, then a systematic review is equivalent to looking at 100, 200, or even 1000 personal review videos. Thanks for watching the deconstruction. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you found this video helpful. As always, drop a comment in the comment box below if there is a product you would like to see deconstructed. See you next time!